Hello, welcome to this lesson, and you'll be talking about the basic elements of music. My name is Joshua Pusu, and we are here at inspirefingers.com. Thank you, and welcome. All right, so uh, basically, we have three basic elements of music, okay? Although we have uh, eight elements, okay, but the much more pronounced ones, okay, whenever you want to learn music, okay, is, is this, yeah, this three, uh, you know, basic elements, and they are the rhythm. The melody and the harmony okay so you can remember from our definition of music okay that's it's been pronounced out there okay they said that uh, music means uh, well-organized sounds uh, you know pleasant sounds in time that like expresses okay it, that expresses ideas emotions in significant forms through the elements of reading melody and harmony okay, so that melody rhythm and harmony so we're going to be talking about in this video okay so that you understand each of them you know step by step and in depth all right so let's get started with the reading now what is the reading now the reading is actually uh you know the duration of a note okay for instance uh let's say i'm playing something and i want to be you know um definite in timing okay that's the beats i want to be definite i want i want you to understand uh the timing remember when i said uh, if somebody's hitting that team okay and then you know it's definite okay so the reading is actually because the person is actually following a particular reading okay so the person is playing that stuff at a particular time that's each each uh each hit is getting to me i call it notes because it's actually it's represented on the sheet music as notes all right so Each of those, sorry, I have to clean my eyes. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Okay, so now the the stuff is actually following a particular reading, it's following a particular uh, timing, and that's what makes it pleasant to whoever is listening to it. So that's what reading means. Okay, so even though I'm playing chords. Reading and that's what made it much more uh, pleasant and appealing to the ear so that you know you understand and you can even dance to it. So I hope you understand what reading actually means right now. It's a very, very simple concept to grab. Okay, so you need that in your music, you need that because that's one of those uh, inevitable uh, tools, okay, uh, elements of music that you can't, you know, you know, throw away like that. You just need it and even. <laughs> You know most times we leave the reading for the drummers to you know help us with okay but the truth is that even though you are playing alone you will always be playing to a particular reading okay and that's what will make your music much more nice and appealing to the ears all right so um the next one is the melody now what is the melody now the melody is the recognizable tune of a particular song okay for instance uh let me see i do something like this I know even without even even before I got to the end, you already knew what I was playing. I was playing a nursery rhyme and that's Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Sorry about that. Okay. So you could understand that even before I even got to the end because you actually recognized it and that is actually the melody of that song. That nursery rhyme. Okay. So uh, the melody is a recognizable tune of a song and in church most times when you play the hymns although i'm not good in hymns okay so but when you play the hymns most times the pianist or the organist okay because most times they use the organ to do that or you know the organist do that does that mostly so he plays a recognizable tune of that hymn so even somebody is just, even though somebody is just entering into, into the church right now the person will understand what hymn is being played and you know we sing along okay so 
that's what the melody does for us okay so i say musician you have to understand the, the place of the reading okay that's the timing you also have to understand the place of the melody because the melody is what even really communicates that music you are playing that's what makes you interact with your because now they don't even understand uh the notes in music okay so but just their ears you know will be able to understand the pattern of whatever you're playing so they will be able to follow along okay so without that melody you know you are like handicapped in playing okay i can't just be playing something like that and you know it just looks like empty empty stuff okay it doesn't really uh, sound meaningful to anybody but when the melody is being played along with it you know it makes a whole lot of sense and when you're playing in time in the reading you know it makes much more sense okay so the last element is the harmony and you know i talked about uh, the skill i talked about the notes okay the notes are members of the skill uh you know a to g okay okay so if you pick each from is and they're actually notes then i said that notes you know they come together to form chords okay and i said chords are like words in our english language right okay so now these chords what we call harmony in music okay now why is it harmony because one one and sorry more than one note okay that's two or more notes they come together in harmony okay to create a particular music tension <laughs> sorry i'm going deep but i don't want to go deep okay so they're creating a particular uh harmony okay so coming together it forms a chord so it's just synony synonymous okay so when you say uh harmony what is harmony just just think about your chord that's your harmony okay and we have a uh, three chord harmony we have uh four uh note harmony five note harmony it depends on what you're trying to create and at a particular time so as a good musician you have to know uh which notes and which notes we combine well we create a nice sounding harmony so that your listeners you know we understand the kind of music that you are playing and you know the way it will sound pleasant to them okay sometimes when you, when you play something like this it irritates your listeners okay although okay, sometimes some things like that work but the truth is that the truth is that if you don't understand how to use them and you know end on something much more meaningful you can do great harm to your music okay you know major uh, most people majority of people you know they want to learn music because they want to play those big things that they see all that musicians playing but that's not the key to music okay music has to be real simple and understandable by anybody who is listening to it okay so that you know they can you know be blessed by it because you're actually a minister so you have to understand the essence of your place in you know in church in a service okay so that even not just in church even though you are playing in a hotel or wherever you, wherever you are okay you have to make sure your music is understandable so uh the place of harmony okay you have to understand how notes come together well okay to form to create nice sounding harmony okay and most time we'll be playing the harmony with our left hand or that's the chords with our left hand while we'll be playing the melody with our right hand okay then you might be asking me joshua where's the uh reading Okay, we are not hearing any drama playing the beat. So where is the reading? Actually, I'm doing this. It's actually reading because I'm actually following the time, and even the melody I'm playing is actually following the timing as well. <laughs> so just it okay you can see music is real simple you might be thinking that this course is based on uh, all those big stuff but sorry uh if i you know cut your expectations down sorry it's not really big everything in music is so simple so you have to you know just make your mind open and you know learn to uh appreciate the simplicity of music and you know 
you know, try to try to learn music so that everybody understands what you are doing. That's the whole essence, and that's the, my approach to music. Okay, I don't approach music to be complex in it. Okay, I approach music, you know, not just to get the in depth of every concept I want to learn. Okay, but to be able, you know, to minister. Okay, to be able to uh, ministry is not just all about saying church. Okay, it's not just all about spirituality. It's also based on you know whoever is listening around you know you want to tell the person you want to communicate something that's ministry okay you minister when you say minister to some administer something to somebody administer a drug you're giving somebody a drug you're giving some something useful to somebody okay so that's what music is music is something that you need to administer so that's just it okay so um i don't have anything much more to say Okay, but uh, just understand we have three basic elements of music the rhythm, the melody, and harmony, and all of them they are so important. Okay, those are the three most, uh, you know, pronounced and most common uh, elements of music. Okay, you can Google out for the rest. Uh, we have eight, about eight of them, I think. Okay, so you can Google, Google out for them and, you know, name for yourself. Okay, that's